Oh shit, there's one of those brain sucker things in here, isn't there? Or a couple. Okay, yeah, there we go. So I need to visit one of the locations. I always feel like sorry for this guy. Because the way these things kill seems really horrific. I mean, at least from their name and the way they're sort of weirdly insectoid. And like the way they, when you when you fight them, uh, they like clamber on your head and sort of like look as though they're trying to suck, suck the brains out of you. And they're called like Brain Demos or something. I think that's the one that's called the Brain Demos. There's two different kinds of them. Um, or two different kinds of uh, those sort of insectoid monsters. Uh, I can't remember what the other ones are called. I guess they're basically replacements for the Chimeras from one. Which aren't in free. And sort of like a liquor as well at the same time. So we'll go down here. What? What? What was that about, Carlos? Yeah, okay, I suppose this isn't good. See, that's a pretty gnarly zombie. Which is good. Might use a shotgun on this one. Could have used the handgun on him though, couldn't I? Thought he was going to like rush towards me. Which he didn't do. Yeah, I don't know, the difficulty is weird in this one because I mean it is easier, or it feels easier. Yeah, that's the rusher, isn't it? God damn it. It feels easier, but then at the same time. Uh, like, these zombies, some of them were taking like six or seven or eight shots to take down. Which is similar to two and one, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so it's not like they're a lot easier in that respect. And also, uh, the zombies that rush towards you. I'm pretty sure that didn't happen in one or two. And that can really get you. Uh, where does that go again? Oh, okay, yeah, the... Uh... The petrol station. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go put the jewel in and we'll go to the newspaper first. See how badly we can mess this up. We'll put the shotgun back. It's probably a terrible idea, but... I want to be daring. Okay, nothing's triggered so far, we're doing pretty well. Oh, yeah, we need one more. It's a bit weird though with Carlos in the restaurant, like I can't, even after all, the years, all these years I haven't figured out quite what the trigger is. Like I presumed for the longest time it was, 
Like, there's two ways it can go. Either uh, Carlos turns up at the newspaper office, uh, or he turns up at the uh, restaurant. And if you go to one, then afterwards you have to go to the other, but you don't get a cutscene with Carlos there. But, like, my presumption has been, for the longest time, that it just depends on which direction you go in. Uh, like, if you, you know, where we had where we had the gunshots. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, where we had the gunshots, um, if you go to the restaurant entrance from there, I always presume that uh, Carlos then turned up at the restaurant. And if you don't, uh, then Carlos will turn up at the newspaper office. Like if we went through the door we went through, and on the path we went through, then uh, Carlos will show up at just the newspaper office. But then I don't know. It's pretty unclear. Oh dear. You know, I don't want to question Jill, but like, I don't understand the logic of uh, passing a, a fire in a building and then continuing up the staircase when there's only one entrance and exit to the, the room. Okay, he's here. Is he just having a nap? You're fine. You're fine. You say so, but my head feels like it's about to explode. Anyway, name's Carlos. Glad <laughs> to meet you, lady. Fuck's your lady. Jill, Alpha Team, RPD Stars Unit. Who do you represent? I'm part time double matrix. Stars, I see. Well, I'm a member of the Biohazard Countermeasure Force sent by Umbrella Incorporated. Sent by Umbrella? Hey, don't look at me like that. What did I say? Do you have a problem? Oh no. It's him! Oh god. So one of the interesting things about these prompts is they are real time, uh, and if you look, there was a blue boundary around the around the option. Uh, over time, the option changes. Did he drop something? No. Uh, the option changes color. I'll just read this. Yeah, every time that option changes colour. Who took that photo? Oh dear. I took too much time. Oh, okay. So you can just punch Carlos. We did get the gun parts though, so that's good. And we'll have space for the... Uh, First day spray as well. Yeah, over time that option changes colour to uh, from blue to yellow and then red. And the longer you leave it, the less time you have to pick an option. And I think how much time you leave it slightly changes what happens. Like it changes how much time you have to react. Like for example, uh, outside the police station, 
you can uh, go inside. Okay. I'll let them speak. Why did Umbrella send your team here? Our mission is to rescue the civilians. How kind of you. Considering Umbrella caused all this in the first place, those liars! Look, we're just mercenaries, hired hands. Do you really think the master would tell his dogs why they have to retrieve the stick he just threw? Hey. No time for talking. If you can believe me, then join us. Think about it. Wait, is that a fire truck on top of a UBCS guy? Like here, like down here. Like there. To the left of where we are. Like by the wheel of a truck. Really looks like it is. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll need to go into the restaurant and get a key. Or get, a, I think it's the other jam, isn't it? Nemesis should pop up here. Yeah, okay, maybe not straight away. But yeah, what was I talking about? I can't even remember now. <laughs> I got so distracted. So yeah, we'll save here. I think we made good progress. We got the gun part, so that's good. But yeah, like I think I was saying, um, like outside the police station, when you find Brad, you can either duck inside or you can choose to fight him. Uh, and like what we did is we waited till the cursor went red and then chose to fight. And because of that, Jill rolled out of the way rather than us being like us start. If we picked that option on blue, uh, Nemesis would have been a good distance away from us and we would have just had to run around him. But because I waited until it was red, uh, Jill did that little roll thing. I don't know if that happens too much with any of the other options. I'm just saying it's it's one of the things that changes depending on uh, how long you leave the cursor. I think most of the time if you just leave it, uh, it, it just makes the situation worse. <laughs> so it's best to just pick an option as soon as possible. Uh, we're going to need the lockpick, aren't we? It's one of the things I always forget to bring the lockpick on this situation. Okay, let's get going. 